Welcome back to the channel, guys. With me today is a 2001 Club Car DS. I picked this this rare gem up this past weekend for four hundred dollars. I have a family member who's been looking for a golf cart that does not want to sink five or six thousand dollars into a golf cart. They want something that runs and looks decent for around two thousand dollars. And I know what you're thinking: two thousand dollars, it can't be done. What she told me is she wanted a stereo and she wanted a back seat, and from there on, you know, that's about all the things she wanted. So I have some things I want to try. So we're gonna maybe experiment with this golf cart here. Now, since this is for a family member, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna try to build it as much as I can for $2,000, and I'm not gonna be making any kind of overhead profit since it's for a family member. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's just an old golf cart. You know, it's, it's nothing really nice about it other than it's a club car, aluminum chassis, an IQ model, it's 48 volts. There's a lot of parts on it that's broken, a lot of parts that are rusted, even like right here. These are rusted, we need to repaint those. I'm not sure what we're gonna do about the wheels and tires yet, if we're gonna leave them with an eight inch, or try to find some used wheels and tires. I'm not sure yet. But in it all its glory, this is what we're gonna be working on. This is gonna be a budget build on the channel. But today we're gonna be working on this. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the seat off. And let's get these batteries out of here and swap them over with the new batteries that we got for the golf cart today. batteries installed um, still don't know if it runs or not yet but um, we're probably gonna need to take these batteries back out before too long I'm gonna go ahead and get six more of those battery hold down bolts and replace those with the nuts and hardware I'm probably not gonna replace the cap so it goes between the batteries those should be fine so probably still need to do that as well let's put the seat back on here and see what we got golf cart didn't come with a key but I think I can dig a key up let's just see here we go. Maybe I can use this key. All right. I think we probably have nothing. I just got that feeling, but let's just see what we got. Nothing. 
nothing and nothing. Whoop. one headlight. about 49.3 volts across the pack sounds like maybe they're a little low uh that's the next thing we need to do is probably hook up the uh, battery charger to make sure it's working properly okay i got the golf cart uh battery charger that we came with the golf cart here next step is to test and see if this works along with the obc uh, the guy said it just went dead and uh you know, they didn't replace the batteries or anything, so I'm not sure if the children just grown up and uh, didn't care about it no more or something else is wrong with the golf cart. So I guess this right here is that. We'll see if the charger cuts on. If it does, then the charger should be working, and tomorrow morning we'll see if the charger cuts off to see if it's still working. The charger is working. I have the plug in there, I believe, all the way. Oh, there it is. It just went down into place better. So the charger is working. As you can see, the battery charger on the golf cart has finished. Just went ahead and cut off. Let's us know the charger works and the OBC works on the golf cart. The batteries are fully charged. Let's put some bushings in here. So along with the new bushings, I swapped out the old wheels and tires for some factory takeoffs here. Much better shape. I need to do the same thing in the rear, but I had to get rid of these worn out and rusty relics. So there you have it guys. This is the $400 golf cart. I have $400 in the golf cart itself. I have 553 in the batteries. Those are some US batteries and they're 2020 models. 
Um, I think those are the last 2020 models he had, and uh, I got pretty, you know, a little bit of a deal on them. I got about $20 in the bushing kit, so I have roughly under $1,000 so far in this golf cart. Uh, how I got this golf cart for so cheap, on my personal Facebook page, I put a post up and I put, I'm uh, looking for any non-running golf carts um, in your yard, your neighbor's yard, or a family member's yard. Uh, I had a lady contact me. I had to drive about 45 minutes away to pick the golf cart up. But that's how I find golf carts pretty cheap. So I think we did okay. I've rode this thing all around the neighborhood this weekend. It's a fun little golf cart. Now, it only does 11 miles per hour, and it's a lot different between that golf cart there. You know, it's topping out around 40, and uh, that's a lot of fun. But for something so cheap and just simple, man, I love that golf cart. So part one, we got it up and running. Very good. Next part, we're going to start taking the body off and start painting and stuff and uh, adding some accessories. So be sure to stay tuned, guys. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.